Hey guys, today we tie a little brush string. We tie it on a Altitude Extra from Partridge, size 10. And we bend the tip a little bit here, yeah, not the tip, the uh, hook guide a little bit upwards to the hook point, like that. So we can tie a class a minute style and uh, we use quite big tungsten beads that are slotted beads, 5.5 millimeters. So we can get it down quite quickly. Um, to fit them over the, the hook, we have to remove the barb. Quite good anyway for catch and release, you don't need it. Just get it tied and we can hopefully move the bead around it. Like that. Everything fine. And then get the hook in. So these are 5.5 millimeter tungsten beads. Uh, from Fly Fishing Nation Pro Shop in Cologne. And as thread I'm using here a Vivis GSP. Um, GSP 100, just a thin thread and we just go to the hook point here. Not further, not much need to go further. And we'll tie it quick. And we take some ripple ice fiber got free samples also from Fly Fishing Nation Pro Shop but you can also get them from Smart Lures and uh, I think FFP has them as well. So we tie in the tail and then just put a little bit of super glue here on the tail. Try it a little bit by just touching it with the finger. So we have a stiff tail now here in the bit, which uh, prevents tailing of the material and uh, just makes it nicer to fish later. So we tie that in like that, and we just keep on repeating that step. And we always tie it on the front and then fold it back to the belly side. And you don't need much, just a bunch. And just keep on repeating that step. And we always tie it in half half. And by just moving forward on the hook shank, we'll just taper our tail automatically. get our scrimper shell. Really nice material if you haven't tested it yet. We just, as with my head, I just brush out the short bits and then I just, for short streamers, grab the tips Align them like that, and uh, as this is our belly, this will be wide. One half around the length to the tail, so around that, that's where our tying point is. And it's nicely tapered, so I'll just tie it in like that. For the top side, I really love this pink white scrimper shell. I'm using that for the top. Pink and white always work good for me. Already catched on this fibers uh, nice sea bass this season, and I really think they will work for perch as well. So same procedure. Just check the lengths a bit. 
That's where we need to tie it in. Like that. And now we could also just fold it back immediately. But uh, there are two things I'd like to add now. Um, this is Cedron Wing and Flash. And it's the um, Flue Orange. And I think it's the most fluorescent thing I've ever seen. Um, let me show you. So that's pretty stunning and I just like to get just a few fibers just on top of there into the material. I will fold them back later with the uh, with the scrimpy shed together. And then as I want to get a little bit more um, height in, in, in the back. The belly will stay flat but the high uh, the back should be a little little bit higher, not much. I'll uh, tie a small amount of bucktail in the front and I'm using pink and grey and just mix it up. Like that. And we have to tie it in really on the point before I cut it really straight, you can see that. And then spin my bobbin counterclockwise. So I have a really good aim with my thread. And then I'll just tie it down just on the tips. This just gives me a little bit more volume in my head section. We go with a few lighter wraps here. You can still adjust the height. Make a knot here. Take the gulf super glue. Just a bit on the thread. Not too much, and just go with the soap thread around it two or three times. Make another knot into the wet glue and finish. What we need to do now is we need to shape our head a little bit, and the easiest thing to do is with golf or UV glue, but I use golf. I don't need much help, you can see that just a tiny bit. And what I do is I'll just strike it on the fibers here. Just on the white ones, then remove them, uh, fold them back. just get them into position. Really hardly any glue I want. So you see that the tail here is a little bit flatter now. So I don't want the belly of the bait fish too big or too high. Take a little bit more here to uh, catch the loose fibers. We do the same thing on the back, just a little bit of super glue, uh, of UV glue, just 
work it in the material here. Fold the material back. Check if it looks nice. And then get the UV torch. I had the buck bond before, now I'm using the gold. And it's really important to get a proper UV light because otherwise you don't get your UV glow really cured. And uh, the one I had before was not really good to be honest. So as here we also go around with the, uh, with the glue a little bit on the outside fibers. Secure it with the torch, and then the fly is already kind of finished. Just needs some eyes. shape you can also do really nice with um, the glue that's why we use the UV glue here as well usually I would use E6000 but um, with light perch fly I can just place the eye on top and uh, cure the resin and uh, by pressing it into position I can um, Move the the hairs to the desired shape. So I can press it down. Move my hairs a little bit as well. And as I'm tying a really a small fly with nearly no material, I can just light with the torch through it and the eye is tight. So we do the same on the other side. Just a quick way of doing it. eyes and just place them on top like that and then now you have to check if they are aligned and then by just pushing on it the glue is coming out at the edges a bit and you can secure it and the uh, you press the fibers in shape as well Share. and if you make it wet it gets this really nice and perfect shape of a baked fish hope you can see that and this hopefully will get the perch crazy thanks for watching